God has really impacted my life here at camp and actually on Sunday I accepted that he died on the cross uh, to wash away my sins and give me eternal life and I am just really grateful for that. Here at camp this week, God has been teaching me to give my life fully to him. I made the, de the decision to let go of some sins that I've I've been holding on to for way too long. I feel I feel free right now. Like I've uh, I haven't felt this way in a while because it's been just this weight on my shoulder. I feel I feel alive. This week, uh, I decided to give my life to Christ. Uh, the biggest decision that I did make was to rededicate my life to Jesus because before I was a Christian who had my parents' faith, and I, I knew all the answers in Sunday school, and I knew what I was doing. But um, a quiet time's never been a really big deal in my life, and Bible memory has never been a really big deal in my life. And um, I would go to camp, and it would be great, and I would do all the things for the points on the team. But um, this is when I go home from this, I know that I'm going to um, start having a quiet time and start actually memorizing the Bible and start living like a Jesus follower would. In my worst times, whether I'm um, about to, whether I'm preparing for a school test or in the belly of a fish as Jonah was, that I can always count on him. He's been telling me to forgive people like God forgives us and love each other the same way you would want to be loved and um, just be forgiving and give people second chances because we all make mistakes and we need to understand each other and forgive each other and love each other. About goodness and the fruits of the Spirit, joy, peace, love, kindness, peace, joy, and love. God has been teaching me to um, keep going and know that He's like by my side. And if He has set him into His heart, He'll never leave us. I made a decision to throw my stick into the fire to give all my body parts and everything to God and let Him take control. I can't do it on my own, and um, everything I do, it won't be good enough. I have to do it through Him, and I have to follow His word. I decided to give my life to Christ. God helped me realize it's okay to doubt because everyone doubts. And he also helped me realize that hang, like, you don't need to hang around with bad people just to fit in. Drop the bad friends, like the friends who do bad things, and stick with the good friends who do the good things. He's been teaching me to share, be kind, definitely don't fight with your brothers. He'll never leave you even when you sin, and he'll still love you. God has been teaching me so much about myself, about my selfishness, and about how I'm not really giving him the time that I should. Well, I decided definitely to spend more time with Jesus and to like really give him my life and start sharing more about him. This week, he's really been teaching me about um, the importance of sharing my faith with others and really just being bold about it and not being timid and really just trusting him whenever I go to talk to people about my faith and um, leaning on Him for every situation. I've learned that everybody has doubts and that that's not something that you should keep to yourself or not tell anyone. And then I've also learned that um, your confidence needs to come from God and not your friends and not what you're good at, but from God because that isn't temporary. God's forever. No matter what you do, that He's always with you and that even when you think that you're alone, that He's always going to be with you no matter what. Even when you go through a struggle and you think that you're alone and that He's not going to be there with you, even if He's like making you go through the trial, He's going to be with you through the trial and not leaving you alone. I feel like I've been living half and half, half of my life in sin and half of my life in God. And I really just laid it all out this week um, and decided to just dedicate my life fully to Christ and be all in on Him instead of in the world. Bueno, él me ha enseñado como que no me debo de dejar llevar de eh, la condenación y tampoco de mi pecado y saber que él es un loving father. Entonces eso me ha ayudado mucho a acercarme más a él en mi relación con él. En el campfire yo um, me paré y tiré un stick y eso representó como yo quiero dar mi vida como una ofrenda a él. Y sí, no solo una área, sino toda mi vida y servirle a Él y dejárselo todo a Él.